What's up, Diabetes family, and welcome back to another edition of Diabetes Kitchen. Today I'm doing something special. I am digging into my cookbook. Yes, I do read my own cookbook and cook from it. But yeah, um, I decided to make jackfruit bedia tacos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take four cans of jackfruit. Now with this recipe, you can either do three cans or four cans, it really doesn't matter. I know my last video, I did three cans, but I wanted to do four because I wanted to have some leftover for the week, and I did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drain all the brine, and then I'm going to wash the brine off of the jackfruit. That is very important. I'm going to add it to a pot, and I'm going to cook it for one hour. Now we're gonna do two cycles of this. Just remember that ladies and gentlemen. So now while that is in there, I am going to start preparing my chilies. Um, with this part, what we're going to do is make sure we de-seed all of the chilies. Now I really like this recipe because it is super flavorful and very healthy for you. One thing about this recipe, and I don't want to scare anybody away from this, is it does take a long time to prepare this recipe because we're going to be boiling the jackfruit twice for one hour. So that's two hours right there. So what we're doing now is we're just cutting the chilies. We don't necessarily have to do it, but I wanted to make sure I got most of the seeds out. We're going to add the chilies to a pot just like this and then we're going to add our water to the pot and we're going to boil this for about 10 to 15 minutes now once the chilies are nice and hydrated we are going to grab our blender and we're going to add the chilies inside the blender Now we are going to add the water that we boil the chilies in to the blender as well. I usually just use the rest of the water. So now we're going to use one fourth cup of white vinegar, two tablespoons of oregano, one whole bay leaf, And then we're going to do four cloves of garlic. And don't forget that Himalayan sea salt with a little bit of black pepper. I do a few, I do a few pinches at a time, but be very generous when it comes to this. Now that we have all the ingredients inside the blender, we are going to blend this until we get a nice smooth consistency. I usually use medium speed. So while that's blending, we're going to start cutting up our garnish and that entails cilantro and onions. But first we're gonna start off with our cilantro. I like to give it one chop over once and then slide it around and then mince it again so now i'm going to start chopping up one half onion and yes i am cheating and using my little device please don't judge me Once we have the cilantro cut up and we have the onions cut up, we're going to add them to a container and we're going to put it off to the side because we are not ready to use. This is going to be for our last step and that is plating and adding to our tacos and our sauce. So while everything is cooking, I decided to make some fresh pico de gallo. I mean, this recipe is just good with the fresh pico de gallo. I mean, you can't have too much cilantro, right? 
But anyways, I'm chopping up my cilantro and I'm putting it into a bowl. I really like making fresh pico de gallo. I rarely ever go to the store and buy it. I just like it fresh. Now this is optional. I like to cut up one jalapeno and I take all the seeds out and I like to add it to the bowl as well. This gives it that, you know, that little hint of heat, but it's not overpowering. You can try this if you want, ladies and gentlemen, but the key is you want to take the seeds out before you start chopping it. So I like to chop it into threes or fours and then come across and just hit it with the cubes. You feel me? And then we're going to add one half yellow onion. So basically I used the onion that I used before. Well, I used the other half of the onion. So, you know, your boy's trying to save y'all some money. You feel me? So now we're going to chop up three tomatoes into fourths. And the reason why we're chopping them up into fourths is, and yes, I am cheating and using my device. I don't feel like chopping up all this stuff. You know, when I'm in the kitchen, sometimes I like to, you know, get things done in a hurry. But you see how quick I chopped up all those tomatoes. And then I'm going to add it to the bowl as well. But I'm not done. I am not done, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to add one whole lime. I'm going to use the juice of one whole lime. And this is going to give it that nice zesty taste. So you get the freshness from the tomatoes, the onions and the cilantro, the zestiness from the lime. I'm going to add my secret seasoning, a chili lime seasoning. It goes perfect with this fresh pico de gallo. I'm going to give it a nice mix. Make sure everything is nicely and beautifully infused. Now, doesn't this look amazing, ladies and gentlemen? So now that we went through the second cycle of our jackfruit being boiled, we're going to add it back to the pot. And then we're going to add four cups of either vegetable broth or mushroom broth. The vegetable broth isn't half bad. I prefer doing the mushroom broth though. And then we're going to add our chili sauce into the pot with the vegetable broth. We're going to mash it down, make sure it drains properly and everything gets in. Separate the solids from the liquid, mix it around, make sure everything is nicely infused. It's smelling amazing, ladies and gentlemen. We add one half onion and then we add Maggie's seasoning. We're going to mix everything around and we're going to cook this for 45 minutes. Now, while that's cooking, yes, I needed to do something else. So I'm showing you guys how to make fresh guacamole. And by the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you guys know every time I drop a new video. So we're going to take one, I think this is a large size avocado, and we're going to add it to our mocha head day. I don't know if it's me, but I like using this mocha jete that's made out of stone. It gives it this the, the taste of whatever you're making, a nice earthy type of taste. I mean, it is definitely worth getting. So I'm adding my lime, I'm adding my chili lime sauce, and I'm adding a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You might want to taste as you go, but I prefer using and making my guacamole fresh. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're all done. So now everything is done, it is time to build our tacos. So what I did was I dipped my tortilla inside the sauce. And then once I did that, I added it to the frying pan. And now I'm adding my jackfruit first. Then I'm going to add my onions. And then I'm going to add my cilantro. And last but not least, I'm going to add my vegan cheese, which is the Vio Life cheese. So if you're gonna use any cheese, use the Vio Life, please. And then I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to allow this taco to cook. 
Now, I know on my last episode, I took my spoon and I dumped it over and I'm doing it again because it works out perfectly. And look at me, I'm making a, I'm making a super mess, but it will all be cleaned up once I'm done. Don't even trip. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are all done. And look how beautifully golden these tacos are with that beautiful garnish. And I would like to take the time and thank each and every one of you for taking the time and watching my videos. You could be anywhere in the YouTube space, but you're here with me. And for that, I thank you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know every time I drop a new video. Holla at ya, boy. Peace.